Yeah, with News 5 tonight. Stay on top of the latest trends in the world, but also stay close to the ground and engage the public. That is the message from Deputy Prime Minister Wong Kan Seng to Singapore's top civil servants. He said this will help the public service to develop sound policies that can better serve the needs of Singaporeans. Mr Wong was speaking at the annual administrative service dinner and promotion ceremony this evening. While we bring in new immigrants, we must continue to retain what is distinct and unique about Singapore and ensure that Singaporeans will truly feel that this is home. This means we must preserve a strong Singaporean core even as we seek to diverse talents to support economic growth. The right balance must be struck. Mr Wong added that Singapore has been able to achieve so much with little resources because of the meticulous and systematic approach to bringing the best talent to serve in political leadership and public service. He said this needs to continue so that Singapore can move to the next level. Mr Wong also presented certificates to 63 public service officers who were promoted this year. These are some of the officers in government who are tipped to take Singapore to greater heights. But at least one of them did not plan for a life as a civil servant. 38-year-old Shashi Jayakuma is the son of senior minister S. Jayakuma. And he was all set to be an academic after he got a PhD in medieval history nine years ago. But after the September 11 terrorist attacks in New York, he changed his mind. I began to want very much to come back to, to home and deal more with Singapore and Southeast Asian emerging contemporary realities, and in particular contemporary security realities, which is why I was uh, quite fortunate and quite happy in the way when the Ministry of Defence gave me my, my first job. And since then, Dr Shashi has been posted to various ministries, including manpower and home affairs. The focus of his current portfolio, how to empower the elderly and their caregivers who are themselves ageing. And to do that, Dr Shashi believes a good policy maker must walk the ground. The longer term perspectives, which quite often you don't get from sitting behind a desk. You need to talk to people who, who actually know. And knowing what the future holds, even way before it happens, is the priority for newly promoted Chiwi Kyung. You have to constantly make sure that you are not behind the information curve. Every day we have in the morning what we call the morning prayer, whereby all the directors and executives sit together and we review what are the key happenings and what are the key action items and decisions that need to be made. The key focus for this former director of the Security and Intelligence Division to attract and retain talent at the Foreign Affairs Ministry. In the High Court.